Hey, what's up? In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use Google Home to control your Samsung AI washing machine. This is some pretty cool stuff. So obviously the first thing you're gonna need is the Google Home and of course the Samsung washing machine. It is a pretty cool feature with these connected washers which you can control through voice. So I'll be showing you in this video how to control all that using voice and how to do your own setup in your own home. So with Google Home, with this, you've got a couple of options on controlling this. You can actually pause the cycle as well. So you can go, hey Google, pause the washing machine. Got it, pausing Skynet. <laughs> Pretty cool, hey? <laughs> yeah, so, and then the other thing you can do is Google, stop washing machine. Forgot to say, hey Google, start washing machine. Sure, starting Skynet. So, I've named my washing machine Skynet, just for people who might be wondering what Skynet is. So, that's why it can recognize whatever nickname you give to your washing machine, it can recognize that. So whenever you use words like washing machine, if you, even if I was to say Skynet, it would actually stop the cycle and would be okay with that. The other thing you can do is actually find out how far into the cycle it is. So you can actually see there that it's the, the cycle's actually going there. And you don't actually have to have the Google Home next to the washing machine, it can be in the dining room or in the bedroom upstairs, wherever you've got all your devices. So that will work there. So I can also ask the status of the wash, find out how long it's left until it's finished, which you just go, hey Google, what's the status with the washing machine? Skynet is running. Hey Google, how long until Skynet is finished? Skynet will be done in 56 minutes and 44 seconds. Just like that. So it can actually tell you how long the cycle has to go. So you can imagine being in the kitchen cooking and then wondering to yourself how long the washing has until it finishes. You can actually ask Google how long it has left until it's finished. You can actually also turn the washing machine off. So to set up all this stuff, you will need to have a Samsung SmartThings app and of course, um, Google Home account, which you can easily set up on your phone, then connect the two. I'll just run you quickly through how I did it on my iPad. You can put it on your phone, your iPad, wherever you put it, it'll just be synced and connected. So to connect Google Home to your Samsung washing machine, you need to go into the SmartThings app and within the SmartThings app, you'll get this plus button on the top right hand corner, which you have options of adding things like a device, a room, voice assistant. We want to add a voice assistant, so we'll go onto the voice assistant option. I already have my Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant connected, so you can click the Google Assistant option and that will help you or walk you through the process of how to connect it to Google Home, which is pretty simple once you get going. Just follow the instructions and then it will be nice, easy set up. Pretty good to use this functionality. So yeah, if you found any value in this video, gently smash that like button. It goes a long way to help this channel and help other people to discover this content. I do post a lot of videos on how uh, to use these new washing machines and also how to fix your washing machine. You never know when your washing machine might break down. So I have a heaps, heaps, and I keep making more videos on how to fix them. So would help to have them in your subscription box. So, and if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. It goes a long way as well to help the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time. Cheers.